If you are, if you rap and you post all the time and then hip hop's birthday came around and you can't even say thank you, I saw you. I saw, just know I saw you. Rap Life Review is back. Uh, we got low key on the couch and the desk is on assignment. Doing. I don't know. I thought she was on I vacation. Think. Big birthday? Oh, birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Nadeska. Happy Big birthday. birthday. She's on assignment. The assignment is happy birthday, chill. All right. We also joining us today, Ivor Rivera. She's going to take us to the tr streets and we're going to talk hip hop 50. First things first, we always do is big up all the albums that came out. Anybody mm -hmm. get into any of this trippy red? I did. I'm not going to lie. I liked it. You're into it. I'm into it. I've never listened to a trippy red project, but he makes great music. He does. From yeah, what I I've never gone in yet. From what I he heard. Does. And he has some strong features on it. He got Pull Lil up. Wayne. Okay. He got Bryson Tiller. Yes. Okay. Um, he got Roddy Rich. Okay. There's a song that he's pushing. I forget the name, but it's like a South Side by Lloyd sample mm. type of vibe. That's the same. Well, I, I seen that. I yeah, I wasn't mad that. at it. I wasn't Triple mad Red at is it. very talented. Um, very talented kid, and I like that he's staying on. He's got a big fan base. So big up to Trippy Red. We got to shout out singles from French Montana. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Sampling some Caribbean summer vibes. DJ Khaled got a new single out here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's moving around. And Reason. What is going on outside, Reason? <laughs> we got to bring the bro on a Rap Life Review and figure out what's happening here. Uh, his new project, Porches, is out all across Apple Music. Uh, let's get Tory Lane's situation out the way. That came down last week. Tory Lane's is sentenced to 10 years. Ivy Rivera is like, yo, I don't want to look. Uh, Lo, what would you like to say here? Sentence says it all. That's it. Like, over and done with. Got what he deserved. Um, anybody defending him? Can't really uh, side with you. Um, we all know what he was doing as the case was progressing, antagonizing her. That was um, definition of more. The more you fuck around, the more you find, find out. out. Yes. He kept playing around with it. Right. So it's just like uh, it just it just got worse and worse and worse. And I'm gonna leave it at that. You know, you fucked around, you found out. I think Ivy? the whole the whole situation is just hurtful. You know, like I I, I don't take sides because. It is what it is. I hope that Megan finds healing. I hope that he finds healing. And that's all I got to say about it. But sheesh, 10 years is very steep. And compared to a lot of other cases that are stronger and people getting less time, it's just it's nuts. But that's um, the system, I guess. Well, yeah. I mean, it's the state of California. Mm -hmm. I think one, one of the biggest mistakes people make is they don't know what's federal and state. Mm -hmm. And each state has different ways they're going to go about okay. doing things. And then if you're on probation and you have an unregistered gun and the gun is shot and you're, I'm not even sure Tory was a, is a citizen. Mm -hmm. I, so it was just tallying up. Yeah, like I, there's layers to it. It's not it's just brick regular. by brick by brick yeah, by brick. Yeah, and then there's yeah. the whole like they told him to stay away from the girl mm. and he didn't stay away from Megan. Right. And then they told him... To stop talking about it. He's making songs all of that. about it. He's making songs. Like, so there's so right. many things that kind of... And I do think you have to layer in the um, make an example part of this mm -hmm. conversation for folks out there, especially in a state like California. Where and that's you not can just get, secluded you to get, him. That's anybody that fucks around. Yeah, yeah, that's anybody that fucks around. But because he's a celebrity and it's in a state where you can get enhancements, like California... Right. And I mean, you get it in a lot of states, like you have certain tattoos, gang tattoos, you get in enhancements. They mm -hmm. give it, and then by enhancements, I mean stacking on more mm -hmm. charges and mm -hmm. things like that. So California is already a state that doesn't play around. Right. right. You know what I mean? And I want to remind the audience, if we go back to the beginning of this, uh, there's a lot of people upset specifically at me, but I'm sure at this uh, program, we were telling Tory from early to just fade, like, Oh, like, oh, yeah, on Rap Life. Yeah, yeah, yeah on yeah, Rap yeah. Life here, yeah, sitting here. We was, you know, yo, bro, why are you making this a promotional opportunity? Right. Mm -hmm. Somebody was harmed. If you didn't have anything to do with it, cool, but still somebody was harmed in your car when with your driver, mm -hmm. with, you know what I mean? It was it your, was your night, and yeah. you were the man, and somebody was injured. And it was a woman on top of that. Who tried to defend you when the cops came. Who lied to the cops and the police. Right. Right, so so uh, all those things yeah. factoring in, but I think that that goes to what Ivy's saying too. It's 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 fucked up all the way around because you have Megan who's traumatized. Yeah, you have Tori who's doing real real time. Right, um, and I don't really know if there is a winner. There is no winner. There's not. This there is, is no not winner. a situation where there's a winner. They you know both I mean? came out scarred. Yeah. Sheesh.
Um, I think we should jump to Jim Jones. Let's do it. All right. Um, Jim Jones was on Drink Champ. <laughs> um, uh, th those of you been following along, and he kind of acknowledges this in the clip. Right. We, the the song that was played in Paris at the Pharrell Louis Vuitton Louis Vuitton mm -hmm. rollout thing. What are those things called? Takeover fashion show. Yeah, the uh, fashion, fashion show. show. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Jim, nobody knows if he if it was actually about Jim. And the song is not out anywhere for people to further analyze. Never it came just out. a snippet. Never came out. But Jim jumped out the window and went at Pusha. Right. Egged on by the internet and all that. But here's Jim talking about how he feels about Pusha in the whole moment. Shout out to Pusha T, very dope artist. You know, everybody know he's a monster when it comes to doing music. I can't take nothing away from him. I know everybody's seen everything that was going on recently inside of the media and the internet. Um. I believe it was cool. One time in my life, I got to engage into some um, verbal warfare and, and don't have to go beyond that and shit like that. Some people react off top. Some people take years to come back. I seen <laughs> had beef and wait years to kill, try to kill a <laughs> You heard? Right, you heard? Right, it's not always right. successful, but this is what I'm trying to say, how people try to line people up. But for the most part, I think it was dope. It was cute. Um, I don't know if he actually took a <laughs> shot at me, but it was, yeah, cause, cause, it was cause cute. cute. It was, yeah, it was, it was, it was pointing, it was pointing in that direction. Yeah. Um, right. It, it made, well, you know it made me feel always, the type of way. I wanted to say this for later, but he could always say, you know, Jim, I wasn't talking about you. I mean, and I, and I would be hurt. I would be heartbroken. <laughs> so, Lo, how do you like Jim's response? Well, I saw it yesterday. Um, <clears throat> and I quote tweeted it. I really like his answer because you got to think about the situation, how it unfolded. You know, for people that aren't following along, Jim was asked by, you know, a good friend of mine, Brandon Jinx, and a couple other great journalists, top 50 artists. You know, mm -hmm. the list come out, people start debating. Uh, Jim was saying that Porsche's not up there. There's no influence he has. No one wants to dress like him. No one wants to be like him. The records, blah, 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 blah. So that discourse went on for a couple weeks. The fashion show happens. Push has this scathing or just a nice little tap on the chin about certain things that Jim allegedly went through. Mm -hmm. Now, if you follow Jim's career, you kind of put things together and you piece things together. So we all assumed and made it pretty known that that was a headshot at Jim because of what he said about Push. So the whole time we're waiting for Push to come back. Is Push going to do his thing? Is Push going to do what he did to Drake, do the Jim? No response, no response. Then we get this. So Jim is saying, you know, no disrespect to Push, top tier MC, very crafty. Um, it was a good moment for him to engage in verbal warfare. But he's also crafty in a way that we don't know if he's going to say anything. And if he does <laughs> say something, how crazy can it be or will it be? And Jim is saying, I invite the smoke. Nonetheless, I respect them, but of we can take it there. But he was like, he was glad that it, it hasn't gone past that. That silence is starting to kill him, ain't it? That He's like, yo, you ain't got nothing to say, that's bro. The, that's the thing. The silence ah. eats at you. Because, like, you know, in the internet era, you get this, you come right back. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. We give you 48 hours. Pushed and took about 48 weeks. Yeah. But it's pushed. So I'm not trying to listen. That's my man. He that's also didn't say no names, though. And that's what Jim said. He said. I mean, he didn't, but like. If they uh, all it's just, alleged you know, I mean, if they all, if everybody in the room knows where that smoke is coming from, if everybody online knows where that smoke is directed, I, out of your 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 retelling uh, of of this uh, sequence of events, should we also make sure that it's documented that when Jim came out having so much to say about Pusher, it was also on the heels of Drake bringing out Dipset at the Apollo. <laughs> what I don't. I'm not trying to like tie those two shoestrings together. It's very ironic and uh, convenient that yeah, Jim and Drake are hanging out, buddy, buddy, and I don't know. I, feel I don't. Like it's I, and it was like a week or two later. I know. I don't. It's like, allegedly coincidental. I don't know if 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 Drake sent Jim. No, no I'm not saying that. <laughs> okay, no, that's okay. too. You're going too far. You're going too way. No, too I, far. I, I wasn't even thinking about that. What I'm more is like I I know Jim. Right. He was like, oh, watch me turn up the heat, make some noise. Because Jim not only did the thing with Jinx and them, right. he followed up with a Breakfast Club interview. And, he, then he, and then he responded on the record. Yes. Like he looped the record and responded, which is very crafty. Of course. It's all, I'm here for all of it. But, and like Jim said, it was an opportunity for him to get into a, a, a verbal back and forth that didn't have anything to do with the street. Which is, yeah, so this is why I said I like the answer. I like the fact that he paid his respect to Push and understands how dope of an MC is. But with that said, I'm still 
I'm ready if you ever do choose to respond. So. Boom, push. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I like the tactic he's using, though. I mean, he's very, I can't lie. Like, I mean, he's you know, like, okay, oh, you know, everybody in their feelings. Let me let y'all sit with that for a minute. But will we really look forward to a Jim Jones diss track? I don't think Pusha would do it that way. He's not going to... I don't think he would dedicate a whole track to Jim I Jones. I don't think you should do it, Pusha. It'd be fun. Why? And why do you say that? Yeah. I just feel like we're in different calibers of our lives. Like, what are we doing here? You really about to take some time out? I mean, it's hip hop. Throw... Yes, what's, what's yes, funny? yeah. So let's yes, get let's get like, it on. Man, let's get our hands dirty. Why not? It's just certain things I'll be like, pass. I get it. I understand. And that's with that... no disrespect to Jim Jones. No, I get it. They're a different caliber of MC, right? They touch different tones of hip hop and different worlds of hip hop. But when it comes down to it, they're both street that like to get percent. like to tussle. So if they want to tussle, do it now. Then let's Don't tussle. Wait. But. I kind of feel get, like get me the way, I care. I kind of feel like the way Push is playing it. My bet would be on Push sprinkling things <laughs> throughout everywhere for an extended period of time. Just like and just pinch, constantly just tapping, at him. just tapping, yeah. tapping. He been tapping Wayne from Ford. Mr. Me Too. Yes. He been tapping Drake from what? And Baby from Infrared? Nah, uh, Exodus. Exodus, excuse me. Exodus. Yo, Push should really be on some Grim Reaper like shadow <laughs> shit. <laughs> Like where he's just like death. hovering around your life for mad long type shit. You're like, yo, bro. <laughs> I'm like a no, and he's just I like, wah, wah. <laughs> like, yo, it's crazy. <laughs> bro, it's sick, man. I'm in for it. I mean, y'all want to play with him? Then this is what it's going to be. That's another case of fuck around and find the out. The more you fuck around, man, that guy. <laughs> it's kind of like, too, I think Push should be looking for a reason, too. I don't think he does. That's the thing. No, no, no. Not like he... Meaning, like, give him one, now I got something to do for the next 10 years. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't really have no. anything to do. It was just me and my brother. We was going to roll out this Clips this project. Right. But now I got something else to do. <laughs> uh, Hip Hop 50 here at Apple Music has been a, a festival fair. We had a big event. One night only last Thursday. Uh, let's see. We had A Boogie pull up. We had Michael Brun pull up, Maya the Don. We also had uh, Benny the Butcher. Uh, Scram Jones was in the building. Uh, who else did I, who else did you guys see in there? Vashti, Clark Kent. Mano. Mm -hmm. King Combs. Jim Jones. Jim Jones. Uh, who else? Um, Kid Capri. Nems. Oh yeah, it was Nems. A good time. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a fun time. Common Bun B. Common Bun, yep, yep. MC yep. Light. Yep. MC Light. Um, DJ, DJ Clue. 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 Yes. Yeah, got a yes. shot to Camillo and Camilla. Rosenberg. It was a whole Rhapsody. bunch of DJs in there. Rhapsody. Yep. And if you missed the radio show uh, on Apple Music One, uh, we had a bunch of amazing people come through. His comment at the one night only broadcast for Hip Hop 50 on Apple Music One. Yeah. And just for the listeners right now, we got people listening all over the world. I want to take a, a minute to capture you talking about, you know, just I used to love her and then Brown Sugar, the movie, just kind of how that all played out for you. Yeah. The concept just came to me to make hip hop a woman and talk about my love for hip hop. Mm. And I told that story and, and I wanted to do it in a way where you didn't know who I was talking about until the end of the song. And that's why the last Yeah, you got me. Like, I'm not going to lie. I was like, <laughs> oh! I love that, man. I love that feeling. And like, we ended up, when I seen the movie, they screened the movie for me and Erica. And um, mm. I was watching and I was like, damn, this this movie is like kind of based on my song. I, I was, it was, I was geek, man. And um, then at the end, they just said, wait, we want y'all to write a song for, for, the, for the film. Mm -hmm. And that was like one of the first songs I got to write for a movie. Mm. And, uh, and it was Erica and I, and I was like, mm. man, we did love of my life. She Ooh. was like, let's mm. just go ahead and, wow. Pay homage to what they pay homage to. I gotta say, one of the things I loved was seeing all the DJs. Mm -hmm. um, I, I believe that, you know, as much as people celebrate Hip Hop 50 and as they should celebrate the rappers, I feel like the foundate one of the foundational elements and the most important, in my opinion, is the DJ. Right. That but that's a radio DJ, club DJ, whatever type of DJ. Mm -hmm. um, so it was an honor to have all of y'all in the building on um, Thursday. Uh, but. You hit the streets. I did hit the streets. I took it to Harlem on 125th, and I got to pick the minds of the people that was running around. I got to actually run into a few special guests that you will see um, when we play this clip, but the answers were pretty interesting based on their favorites. Let's check it out. One time, one time, one time, one, one time, one time, one, one time. 
time, okay? Talk to me nice and don't talk at all. It's Ivy Rivera. We in Harlem world right now. We celebrating 50 years of hip hop. We outside. We with the culture. We tapping into the minds of the people. We gotta see what's really shaking out here. This is the rap life review. Let's go. If you gotta put somebody on to the genre of hip hop, what is the first song you're playing? Whose World Is This by Nas? I don't know. I'm a huge Biggie fan, so I might go hypnotize. Ignorant Shit by Jay Z. I would say um, the message. I love Elo Cool J. I like I'm Bad. She's putting you on to the ladies band, okay? <laughs> Big LL. What's a concert that you've been to that is one of the most memorable moments for you? Well, I was just at Summer Stage this weekend. Okay. Tony Touch was there, Cool Herc, all that. Rough Riders, Cash Money Tour. Oh. They had the helicopter on stage, and DMX came out, cried. Killed it, R.I.P. to the dog. What is a hip hop collaboration you would love Mary, to see? Method and, <laughs> Method and, uh, and Mary J. Blige. We seen that already. Like a too short, like Fabio. We got to see Drake and Hove. I want to see The Weekend and Hove. Throw Beyonce on there too. Oh, your shoulder's going crazy. Okay, go, okay. Who is the best dressed rapper? I'm not gonna lie, I feel like Lil Baby been putting that shit on lately. I might have to give it to Uzi right now. Travis Scott got swag, man. I like I like Travis. I mean, Method <laughs> had like a little little Louis short set going on last night. Like, so <laughs> my size is like this, and my personality is like that. We outside <laughs> always, you heard? <laughs> What a time. Very dope. Yeah, yeah, Harlem, always active up there. But mm. I'm surprised nobody mentioned Fab for mm. Best Dress. Kanye. Fab is a good one. Like, Cam. Fab, Fab, Fab lately on the internet be getting getting the overdressed heat though. <laughs> yeah, we talking about like at his prime though, like in <laughs> my mind. <laughs> He, he Wait, why you laughing so much? That's what they say on the internet. They be trying. Yo, Fab no, throw the outfit. People be <laughs> like, yo, Fab, <laughs> knock it off. Now, he had like this, I will never forget that pink fur. Oh, oh yeah. man. But Cam owns yeah, the, the crop top. The crop top. Cam owns the, crop, the pink fur. Yes, the crop that top. killed me. My man. Nah, that's my man's, bro. I miss Fab. Yeah, Wait for some new fan. music, bro. Fab, what's going on with the music? Let's go back to the I mean, throwbacks. He got Egg Bad out. Yeah, he is on the Egg Bad. He got a few features, but his. Nah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ivy, thank you for that piece, man. Of um, and then, did you guys get to experience any of the Hip Hop 50 celebrations throughout the city? Uh, Black parties, concerts. Went anything. to the run, like I, like I told you, I went to the Run DMC event mm -hmm. at Bleaker Trading. I went to Pass the Mic with DJ Cassidy. Uh, obviously, one night only with us. Um, I think that said I was supposed to go to Yankee Stadium, but I hosted a DJ battle in Brooklyn, so that was just as pretty big Oof. for me. I had um, the biggest FOMO not going one? to Yankee Stadium. But I was like living through Instagram. Shout out to like Oh yeah, streams. he was watching all, yeah, I was watching I was all that. like this. Yeah. I, I've never experienced Lil Wayne perform and it looked wow. insane, which yeah. brought me to that whole g up special delivery, how he brought that into the uproar. Yes, yep. yes. You know, and yeah. I was just like, ah! Yeah, one time, know, yeah, Swiss did that. icing out Scarlet, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. That was, was a, like, that was a moment. That was a moment. Cute. Yeah, that was yeah, that nah, was. The, the Yankee Stadium thing was. I was in there. It was a situation. I mean, it was people from twenty to seventy in there. Like it was. What was your biggest memory in there? Uh, my favorite set was probably Ghostface set. Yeah. Uh, bringing out Capadonna and um, Inspector Deck and Method Man and. I'm not, nah, man, that Fat Joe set was crazy too, man. Hold up, KRS One came out, mm. Remy, oh, like that, and, and you was in the Bronx. Um, Lord, and he had Nas the belly out, yeah, Lauren, yeah. Uh, I mean, that was Run DMC's last show mm. ever. Mm -hmm. you know? Iconic. Um, and that was arguably, pro and shout to Mass Appeal, you guys did a phenomenal job. Yeah. I mean, the whole day was like, the evening was like eight hours long, so people was in there all the way to the end. That's great. And the other thing that was really, really cool, not only the age demographic, but um, the amount of people from all over the world that came in just to celebrate hip hop. Mm -hmm. Like it was people from Japan, it was people from Australia, the UK, uh, China, and like groups of people, like they like organized tours to get there. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so just seeing that and, and being able to uh, see Cool Hurt get his flowers and Flash running around backstage and uh, can just... we talk about Melly Mel and how brolic he is? Oh, he been brolic Whoa. forever. 
Like it, it shook me up. I was like, well, you didn't yo, know, bro. Be shirt. Yo, You've been shirt off like outside. that since for real. Yeah. Wow. For, yo, Melly Mel been brolic <laughs> fifty years since hip hop. He's been brolic the whole time. <laughs> like I ain't even gonna the hold you, bro. Is crazy. Bro been brolic since the Mel's birthday. Of hip-hop. <laughs> And Dougie Fresh wild out, too. Yeah, Dougie Fresh. Oh, I forgot to shout out Snoop and Ice Cube. The West Coast was in the building. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Too Short came out. Um, yeah. Then you had uh, T.I. Uh, T. Cam. Manny Fresh was in there. Cam. Yeah. Like, oh bro, it was so, it was, I'm a nerd about this hip hop shit because it's really all I've done my whole life is be in media around hip hop. So I get a little probably too invested. Maybe, I don't know, but I'll take, like, I'm, I, mean, I, I'm, that's I get what it is. super excited to the point where I was, like, on some, like, auditing Instagram. Like, if you are, if you rap and you post all the time and then Hip Hop's birthday came around and you can't even say thank you, I saw you. I saw, just know I saw you. And there's going to come a day, all these rappers, there will come a day when your bitch ass will be on the internet <laughs> complaining about not getting your flowers. But you don't give your flowers or no acknowledgement to hip hop or anyone else. Is there someone specific you talking about? Nah, it's okay. mad people. Oh, okay. It's mad people. And I'm not talking about people who ain't even on social. Like there's some rappers right. who just don't even post. Right, 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 right. Right, you know what I mean? You talking about the guys that are always on. But there's people awesome. constantly posting. And not saying nothing. Yeah. Like this ain't an R.I.P. trending thing. Bruh, all you needed, you could have just posted, te- you know, type on the little note thing in your Happy phone. Happy birthday, hip hop. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Like, you ain't got to post a whole Messies. 10 photos and a whole long thing. Just right. say thank mm-hmm. you. Because, right. and once again, maybe I'm too close to it. Maybe I'll take it too serious. Maybe they're like, ah, you know, whatever. It's just hip hop. I mean, well, if, you, if, if there's something that changes your life and something that allows you to feed your family, feed your family and employ the ones around you to better their situation, better their lives, and to help push a culture that has been only around for 50 years, and then you go radio silent, that kind of is going to make people like you or myself or Ivy or Nadesco or anybody in here feel a type of way. Like, you don't... Every other day, you rah, 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 this, that, and the third, but when it comes to the actual day... And by the way, my biggest thing with it is nobody's bigger than the culture. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, like, nobody yeah. gets to be like... I don't have to. Or, or, or on some, like... Hip hop should be thanking me for what I brought to the game. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if that's your position, that's whack. That's just whack. Yeah. And I'm watching. And y'all know I'm petty, so I'm gonna remember. <laughs> now, this whole weekend, the emotions were heightened because you're seeing all the memories, you're seeing everybody come out to celebrate. It makes you wanna say something. It has to make you wanna say just something. Just thank you, man. That's to it. Say yeah, nothing. like, we're not asking for a whole slideshow. Yeah, we're not asking for a whole montage, a whole, <laughs> just play your thanks. Good looks. We appreciate and once again, shows, though. for the people who post often, there's a lot of artists, they don't post often. They don't really, you know what I'm saying? They that's don't not, care to. That's not their thing. They're they not even on that page. But I see you on social media all the time on some goofball shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't say thank you. And that's Rap Life Review. <laughs> thank you, Ivy, for joining the program. Listen, an honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Ivy, Ivy Rivera. She'll be sitting in here and there, hopefully. Yes, Low key, sir. love you, bro. Always. And everybody out there, man, uh, on the Apple Music team, um, and everybody that works on the hip hop and R&B team and works on live events and everything that we were able to accomplish, podcasts. I mean, everybody. So many people contributed here at Apple Music to make sure we had a, a, a great showing and showing up for the culture that's provided us all so much. Uh, so salute to everybody at all ends of the business. There was, ex- mm-hmm. yo, fam, executives at Apple can write an email thanking hip hop. And you mean to tell me your ass can't say thank you to hip hop? <laughs> Yikes. Wow, wow. It's crazy, bro. It's really crazy. Is you keeping receipts for me? I think we ought to call some names out next week. We have to just make he a gonna list. He's going to have a list. Nah, I, I, I ain't even going to do all that. You know? I'm just watching. That's it. Okay. I'm just watching. We'll see y'all next week. Make sure you add that uh, Rap Life playlist. Subscribe to that. Wherever you're watching this, subscribe, subscribe to that as well. For Lo and Ivy, my name's Ebro. It's Rap Life Review. What's up? Nadeska here. And if you enjoyed this episode of the Rap Life Review, you can catch me here every week with Low Key and Ebro. Subscribe, hit the like button. Make sure you never miss an episode. And of course, drop us a comment below and we'll see you next time on the Rap Life Review. <laughs>